pretty, pretty interesting story for Journey Brown. I mean, he was uh, always kind of a fast guy who played running back, ran for 722 yards in a game in high school, got hardly any love late in the process. Finally, Penn State came around. He's a PA guy, um, goes to Penn State. They already got Miles Sanders there. They already got Saquon Barkley there. All red shirt. Good call. <laughs> then the next year, they were, they they have Miles Sanders there. They recruit some guy named Ricky Slade. You know, five-star, everything, great back. People are pumped about. So he doesn't get a lot of playing time. Then this last year, they recruited two guys, Devin Ford uh, and Noah Kane, who are both supposed to be you know, take over because yeah, Miles no Sanders game. is gone. Nope. Journey Brown's not going to be a whole lot. He only got a few touches the year before. And he really had to earn his touches and he earned his spot, which I think is really cool. I mean, that's, you know, uh, my comp for him is uh, a, a Raheem Mostert. You have a guy that people have forgot about, great top end speed. Um, everything else is a little... He can be a good cutter at times, but everything else is a little inconsistent. That's kind of what I see, but that's my comp. So uh, really cool backstory. And I always cheer for guys that aren't, you know, they have to work their way to get their touches. Yeah, I like that too. He, has to, he had to earn it. Mm -hmm. I guess he was a 100-meter state champion in mm -hmm. high school too. And like a 10-4. He's a burner. So, yeah, let's, let's get into it, Garrett. I think you're up here first, my man. I think I am. First and ten, first Indiana. Go on, let this... well, one thing quick I, in the chat, I thought this was interesting. Um, Holy Toledo said he's pretty sure Ingram hurt his knee in fall camp last year, so that would explain. Some Makes stuff sense. Too. Oh, okay. Wasn't aware of that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, so if you can go back to the first few, because this one's kind of hard to tell. This is just not a good effort here. Uh, he he takes the the uh, the fake. He doesn't try to square up on anybody, and I don't know if two guys coming kind of mess with him or what but he just kind of throws his arms at at number nine here and fortunately his quarterback got it out quicker he would have got smoked uh on on this play but i just didn't love the effort i, I would rather and like i said it, i remember having multiple blitzers coming at you at the same time and it can be overwhelming but at least pick one guy and and do something with it and give your quarterback a shot yeah for sure All right, first and 10 again. What's the score here? This is much later in the game, so we got a pretty big jump here. Yeah, 17-14 Penn State. Second, Second quarter. quarter. 5.40 to go. Oof. This is one of the things that he does best, I think. Um, good vision there because originally the hole was there. You see the defensive end collapsing inside, quickly bounces it out. And then real quickly gets number five to bite too. And it's just that quick one step and back outside. And that was one of the things that I think he did best overall. Uh, he's just got really quick feet. Yeah. Uh, and I think that's going to serve him well uh, moving forward. It's very twitchy and bursty. Yep. Twitchy and bursty. You know, I love those words. <laughs> can, I, can I just make a negative on this? Yes, of course, Nick. Nick. Go ahead. Ingram's done. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, by the way, me and Garrett weren't far off, Jared. So We really weren't. Um, what do you mean? So watch where this play starts. So it's what? I don't know. He has him as like a fourth runner. I have him like a fifth or sixth. But yeah. go ahead. So makes this cut. He gains three yards. Mm -hmm. All of that for three yards. Why doesn't he cut up the field right there? Well, I mean, twenty two is collapsing right there. Yeah, but you get, if, you if he breaks of... that, if he breaks that that leg tackle or that arm tackle there, uh, you know, he's got the corner. Yeah, you're saying keep it north and south here. Yeah, well, I mean, right, no, right after eight. Here? Right there, right there. Yeah, get up, get up. He can if he cuts back inside off of safety, he's gone. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. Boom, north-south. No, I feel you. Get square. But this is a little bit of who he is, too. He doesn't like contact. You're he right. doesn't like contact. He so doesn't. He does this more than I he I don't does know if it's he doesn't like it. 
He does avoid it. That's what bit. I saw. Yeah. I, I saw him flat out just go to the ground instead of lower his shoulder into a group of two guys. Yeah. Okay. Multiple times. That didn't show up for me as much. I just noticed that he didn't like break tackles very often. Ooh, that's nice. So really like this run, once again, sees everything collapses inside, bounces it outside, and then he's, he, he's able to keep enough balance. And this is late in the game. And this was another thing I liked with the awareness. He stayed in bounds here. Uh, and if you can go back to the clock, I'm trying to remember what it was. I know it was late in the game and they were up. Yeah, there we go. Fourth quarter, six minutes left. They're up by three. They're by three in Indiana? I know. They should be stomping them. But. He's uh, 5'11", 206, I have here, yeah. Phil. Yep. Um, so, great job uh, to bounce it outside to get anything there because he wouldn't have otherwise. And then easily could have been tackled there, gets another three or four yards, and stays in bounds there. Real, real heady run, real good run. Reminds me of Najee Harris when we were watching him on that play. Just getting the hand down, fighting for yep. extra yards. First and ten here. Still Indiana. Yep. So <sighs> explosive, man. And that's the thing, like, you're going to see some of these plays, and some of these plays are, you know, the last one wasn't, but these, this is more of a, a highlight play, something you would throw in a highlight reel. Makes a couple guys miss, uh, makes one right in the hole miss, another one, another one, and then doesn't quite get that last one. It's a little bit deceiving, though, because even though I didn't find a ton of, like, super negative plays, there wasn't a lot of, like, good plays. It was either... That's a great play that I would throw in a highlight film or meh. Exactly. And that, that was the hardest part about his tape was there wasn't a lot that I was like, oh, that was awful. That was terrible. And so you'll see, like, I really don't have a ton of negatives and it'll look more optimistic than I truly feel because a lot of these plays on here, there, there's not a lot of middle ground. And so that's the difficult part that I found with him. But this was a good run. Can you go back one more time? Dude, I couldn't have said that any better. That's exactly how I feel. Watch number four here, the safety. He he literally just doesn't want to be there. No, he doesn't. Yeah, he's like, oh, 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 sorry. Like that 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 run looks better because I mean, really, he breaks one tackle. One there, yeah. That I guess two. two. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. But the other, but four could have easily cleaned him up there. Well, he should have tackled him, and then I don't know. That's just a bad play. I, I yep. look at the defense too. I think that's safeties. Part of it. Absolutely. We have a few like this running back class is is full of like, super explosive and fast guys, man. Yeah. Chuba, Etienne, Brown. Yep. Gainwell. Hawkins. Yeah. Puka. I watched a ton on him, yeah. He's I know right. people really like him. He's fun. I like him more than Puka. Dude. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll have to break them down. You want to do them next week? Yeah, I'm fine with that. You want to. This is another one that I think you get a better view of it from the from the end zone view. This is wide open. Yep. Big hole. That's a big hole. Yep. Farmuth just cleans it up too. Yep. Now, originally He just goes was, though. And that's the thing. Nice cut back. He baited that linebacker, uh, which really helped open that hole. Right. And so I or was it the safety? He baited the safety there. Which really number four again. Great job, buddy. And then Fryermuth, yep, came, cleaned it up. And then you just see the speed. Like, he's just got – he's got wheels. He can make those explosive runs. Yep. So, I'm going to go positive and negative here, okay? Another positive we're not pointing out here is watch a right guard get immediately beat. So, I don't know if his eyes see this and then go backside or if it's designed backside. Because look at that swim. He's already beat. <laughs> yep. Yeah. That's terrible. He just so he's like, oh, can't go there, stops, and then comes back. Or they knew pre-snap. But, I mean, that's such a big hole is that – that good no it's i mean it's simply just speed it's simply just speed i mean boop. good cut i mean yeah yeah i just think i think a lot of guys would give you a lot of yards on that yep. but you're right but not a lot of guys have those you know rare explosive fast traits you know ingram couldn't have made that play twitchy but no yeah not obvious. like that anyway obviously no 
But that's that's the run where like people are like, oh, Daryl Henderson sucks because yeah. look at this hole. That hole, that was a big hole too, you know. Oh, oh. Oof, so close. They call. Got to get in the end zone there. Why doesn't he widen? Got to get in the end zone there. Um, but once run. again, he does he does a really good job. Like you know, I, I think he I think he has pretty high knees. He runs fairly well with that. I didn't see a ton where those little arm tackles get him. Uh, that was something that he did pretty well. Really good Ooh, balance. Good there. Yeah. Really that's good balance part. on a lot of that. You do want to see him get to the end zone here. So that was was disappointing. But once again, another highlight level type run from uh, from Jenny Brown. This is way better than the last play. This opinion. is For best sure. play yet. Making that safety miss that after being off balance. That's that's sick. It reminds me of Miles Sanders run against Michigan State a couple years ago. Yeah, that's sexy. It's a good. It's a it's a really good run. Granted, it's Indiana. You should do. Or, no, that Rutgers. one was in Indiana. That was Rutgers. But you yeah. should do that against Rutgers. All right, I think that's it for me. Yeah, this is on the mind now. I got one clip here versus Pitt, but I just thought he did a real nice job of fitting through this hole and then getting upfield. And I was surprised he got tracked down. I think he just got a little tired here, but I, I was surprised when you said Mostert because I don't, I don't know that he's as fast as Mostert is. He's reportedly a four three guy, Journey Brown. I heard four two nine. Yeah. Really? I, I feel like he gets caught from behind quite a bit for a guy that's supposedly that fast. Like mm. we're talking, hole. we're talking Henry Ruggs level speed, Chris Johnson level speed. To <laughs> getting through that. Yep. That's nice. Got skinny. Yeah. Get skinny, boy. Great cuts, too. Mm-hmm. In the midst of fire. I think he just lets off here. He just waits for the blocking and didn't think he's going to get caught. Maybe. Maybe. But, I mean, come on. What is Six doing? Block the dude. <laughs> I know, man. I was, Bro, I was sitting you, here waiting for him to score. You watch. You watch. Uh, ETN 14 receivers block terrible. so well. They do. Why does the six? Yeah, turn around. Guys. Block somebody. Well, I block or block 15. He does nothing. He doesn't block 15 or the guys behind. Yeah. So if you're dumb. a receiver, high school, college, you're watching this block. Do Look something. At him. Nothing. You're just running down there with him. Have you been have you been listening to the the, uh, the wide receiver coach on Hard Knocks? No. Uh, he's, uh, he's cracking hilarious. me up. Yeah. He's been no, cracking I, me up. I don't have HBO. F-bomb ever I haven't since. seen it yet. Oh, I don't either, but you get you get a free week with a new email, so. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Watch this attempt by Clifford, though. Come on, man. Come on. Jeez. Hey, he, hey, he tried, man. No. Nah. Hey, that, that's more than six, did? Yeah. Barely. Oh, gosh. Six did bad. nothing, though. <laughs> You imagine being the wide receiver coach in that room? Uh, you are embarrassing your whole family. What are you doing on this play? Take a lap right now. It's 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 a walk through. Take a lap. Take a lap. So I just wanted to show off his speed here. Look at this. That's just see ya. Yeah, he's just killing the everybody's angle. I've seen this play before. Watch Winfield. Winfield's like taking that angle and doesn't even close it. No. Nope. And Winfield's decent. I like him. Yeah, he went to, what, second round of the Bucks. Yep. You can see from another angle. Go, go to the other side. Watch Win- Just watch Winfield try to close it. I wanted Winfield on the Browns. That's a long way for him to go, but watch here. So he's trying to close that, like, just outran your angle, bro. Yeah. <laughs> but um, I thought he actually made the right right read here. By Absolutely. Using, used his tight end as a shield. Knew he could beat him to the outside. Nope, that's that's great vision. Pretty wide open hole at the same time, but you know we have not put negative plays on here at all. I can't remember what I picked. Well, the hard part was there wasn't anything gross. Like Did, I didn't have any gross plays to. What put Garrett on. said was pretty. I mean, Garrett had the one poor pass pro to start off, but I mean, what Garrett said was exactly how I felt. Like there was just a lot of like tackling the line of scrimmage, but it really wasn't his fault. Like. Yeah, 
So Nick, I think, you know, this is that hopping that you talk about. But I, I thought yep. he did a nice job there of letting his blocks develop. But he always is trying to get outside. You notice that? That's all he does. Yeah, yeah he's just a bouncer. He wants to bounce it. And honestly, that's what I love so much about ETN is I think ETN eats so much more because he's he's so aggressive with his athletic ability. That's the difference between him and Hubbard and Journey and so many other guys that – Sure, going outside, you can get more yards sometimes. But when you can hit it and you beat a safety in the middle, you're gone, gone. There, yeah. There's no angle to catch that. No. Watch how this opens up, though, man. Look at that. Woo. Yeah, you can go either way. Yeah. Okay, he has a two-way go there. Good one, right. Nice job of making this guy miss, though. This guy comes off, makes a miss in the hole. That's kind of an easy miss, isn't it? Yeah, it is. But He's so far over. Gets a big gain. First and ten again. This is my last one, guys. I only had four for for Brown on the games I in the two games I watched. Only four. Oh, you went you went under the limit, Jaywack. He's no making up for last limit. week. Oh, true. true that. <laughs> we we both went over last week. Uh, yeah, you yeah. Did. those are great episodes though. If you guys didn't watch them, we did Trevor Lawrence and Justin Fields last week. So much fun. Yeah, great catch here. I actually think this might be his his forte, the next level. More of a pass catcher, third down. Yeah, more of a pass catcher, Naheem Hines type. I don't know if he's that great of a pass catcher, though. Hines is a former receiver. Yeah, but I don't know. Like When I watched him, like he's making catches like this, making them at his, at his shoelaces. Hmm. Ball behind him, good adjustment. That's a, turns, that's a really good catch. Turns into a runner. I saw quite a few of them. One of the guys that was like, he only had 15 catches on the year, so he didn't right. really catch the ball too much. Yeah, he also I, just, split. Yeah. I, I mean, his numbers overall on stuff more. were low just because he really didn't get the job till halfway through the season. Exactly. Like, yeah, he split a lot of time. So, one guy over here said, You got to watch the Memphis game. I watched the Memphis game, so I got you. So, here we go. Yeah, this again, is the best game. Highlight, highlights, but there's also some other stuff. So, it was 200 yards in this game, right, Nick? Yeah, it was. And his this best the, play of the year is definitely in this game. I'm assuming you put that one in here, right? This Nick? is the bowl game. I oh, got gotcha. you. Yeah. Yes, yeah. that play's sexy. Yeah, Good catch there. So, positive and negative, right? Um, I don't know. I mean, it's just it's a catch. I don't know. That's it's a bubble. You know, it's a, just a. Right, good hands flare, catch. But, but, you know, avoids here, mm -hmm. doing what he always does outside. Then here, okay? You're running back. Go get some yards. Nah. He, actually, he actually could have cut back in the – whoever the white guy there is, I can't see his number. Um, yeah, he could have cut, cut back there. Inside. And then if, 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 the, uh, if the tight end goes up and blocks, he could have had a lane. Right, fire yeah. But right here, Why? I know his momentum like was taken there, but then he gets north and south, and then immediately goes outside. Right. Yeah. As there's says, more. There's more yards in there, man. That this is the running back. You can't go outside everybody. You just can't. Yeah. He, he seems to kind of always moving at a thousand miles an hour once he gets going. Yeah. Yeah. Not as under control as someone like Ingram, right? And if he does come under control here, he can probably make that play. But what? Yeah. Well, he's not under control. I haven't, I haven't seen him fall yet. I'll say that. Well, I mean, I haven't seen Ingram get stood up and go outside by a corner and got no more yards after that. Yeah, because he didn't make it to the corner. <laughs> All right. <laughs> First and 10. They're opposites, I, like we I, said I, earlier. I think opposites. this is the play. This is the play. This is the play. The play. Yep. Everybody's like, who's ooh, this, dude? Ooh, stiff arm. Uh, get off me. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. That's just sexy. Two stiff arm breaking tackles. Yeah. Cares and guy for a couple more yards. So, but let, but but okay, it looks great. But we can, I think we all can agree, his power isn't as good as people think. At no, all. he's got a good stiff arm at all. So this is best. This guy, right here. this guy, stiff arms. Go back. This guy's getting blocked or about to get blocked, going this way. That's a pretty easy stiff arm. 
right? His momentum's yep. going here, then he tries to grab him. Yep. Fairly easy. That's a good one. Yeah, that's a I'll good one. I'll give him that one. That's a good one. He's a good stiff arm. He does. Yeah, because he, he had used it on a couple of the plays I had as well. Right. And he carried him, I don't know, maybe two yards a little bit with his momentum. Like, it looks so much better, I think, than it kind of is. I see one good play. That guy right there. There's it's like that you're you should. You should like if the guy comes behind you, you shouldn't crumble to the ground. Right. Any running back that weighs 206 should carry a guy maybe a yard. It's a pretty good hole. Right. Yeah, good hole. I mean, sheds this this terrible this tackle. Here, or this yep. tackle here, yep. Yep. So three I mean, you keep your head in tackles front. and yeah, head behind. It's his the best round of the yep. year. It's a good play, but I think it's hyped a little more than it should be. Oh, yeah. It's, I mean, you throw that on a highlight film. That's sexy, right? Right, right. But I'm like, man, those guys had some, like, I don't know. Yeah, when you really break it down like you just did. Right. Like that one when he's off balance and made the guy cut was mm -hmm. way better, I think, than this one. was way better. Yep, yep, I agree. And I didn't see a ton of that. Like, that was that play right there. Like Garrett said, there's a lot of these highlight plays, like two mm. or three. And then there's a lot of just meh. I'd love to see him get more volume. So this is speed. Oh, never mind. This oh. isn't that play. So, so here's <laughs> speed wow. dies. So look at this. What was that? Some sort of trap? What was what was happening there? Yeah, I don't know. Tackle pulls around. Yeah, they both shot the gap. But here, watch how easy he goes down with an arm. It's only an arm. Literally yeah. stopped yeah, right in his tracks. That's upright runner. That's lack of power. That's lack of fight. And he's just like, all right, I'm going. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. He's a little... You brace a little. I mean, you, that lower your shoulder right sh there. Show it from the other angle again, Jaywalk. Yeah, go, go ahead and run it through. Yeah, because 41's the, really the last guy there. That, this is it. He he's breaks gone. that one arm tackle. Gone. He's he's to the house. Mm -hmm. That's a huge hole. Yeah, that's disappointing. Yep. And th and this is what I saw. Like I know, like the stiff arms there, but man, the rest of, there's there's no power in his game. Like none. He I mean he doesn't want it either. Like there's a mentality where he always bounces outside, and just doesn't want it. Here's look at this speed. This is just stupid. Yep. You're saying he's not Mostert? Look at that. <laughs> that looks like Mostert. He's so fast. Dude. I mean, he lets it's, up. It's, it, it's, tough to, it's tough to tell on that. Like, he could be, but I don't know. I saw him get got tracked down a lot. And these guys aren't even close to closing. One, one they're, thousand. They're not two, really one thousand, trying that hard three, either. Three, one thousand. Four, three. <laughs> Four, three. Oh, there it is. <laughs> J-Mac just did it. <laughs> You're going to be like the what's, – what's his name that ties at the Combine? Oh, <laughs> Charlie uh, something or yeah, Charlie Casserly or something. Yeah. Um, Kevin Harrington asks, has tonight changed how you view journey in comparison to Chuba and ETN? Um, you know, I was really interested in doing this one because I haven't broken down, broken down journey yet. And he's kind of, he's kind of what he is, what I thought he was. Um, he's not in that top tier. Of running backs for me for this class no. i look at my I, I'm, oh, I'm sorry that you're done no i am done good I, I i'm less impressed with journey brown i still have more plays in the game to go but yeah right um as, as we did this twice but um i'm less impressed with him um because he kind of as jay said he is what he is he's he's a fast guy that does good on the outside and big holes but the rest of it, it it's not there um he needs to get power he needs to run with good contact balance he needs to be a running back, you know. He's kind of playing like it's like high school, you know what I mean? Yeah, I I clearly have Etn, Najee, Gainwell, Chuba. All four of those guys are clearly ahead of him. Yep. And you know he's kind of going to be in that tier with. Um, I'm trying to think of some other guys that I would have in a similar tier, like Kylan Hill. Um, Ugh. Um, oh, Kylan Hill's trash. Trash. I like Kylan Hill. I know you do. It's all right. You're allowed to like I definitely like. still have him ahead of Ingram, though. Um, That's for sure. I mean, I don't hate Journey Brown. I think he's you don't. You don't have Journey ahead of Ingram. 
No, you. I, I thought you were talking about oh, Kylan Hill. Oh, Kylan you Hill. just rolled your eyes. I was like, you, I thought you were you just talking about Kylan Hill. I would have Ingram over Kylan Hill. Easy. I, no. Where? If you guys were to guess, no. we'll we'll do it. We'll do it after Nick's done with his place here. Good fight there. For him. Not bad. I don't know. I just like that guy. That, look at this guy. No way he has the momentum. And then I just I need more than that. I think. Yeah, I'm not. Look at five. Look at five. All momentum he gone. Five, no way he does. Five or six yards. I think that's a very mediocre play. I, I don't love it or hate it. I mean, he sheds, who he is. He, he's just not. He sheds one block, one tackler, and then carries. Go watch, a go watch five, Jaywack. There's no way five makes the play. He's flying. Yeah. He puts an arm out. Freaking Browning. Like, like he can't make that play. That's not much yeah, that he did there to break that. I don't think. And then nine latches on and he gets two yards. So I don't know. I just think it take down by an arm this time at least. Right. I'll give him that. But like, to Honestly, me, like I just I just think this is a very map play. Like I don't I don't have strong feelings one way or another on it. Yep. But to me, it's like that's not a starting running back. That's like. A complimentary guy. Got yanked. Yep. Again. Broke so the there. Broke. Broke. There. there. Sorry. You're fine. So you got rid of 32. Uh, and you like can I, see it better from the other angle. He like jerked back. Yep. And after, and after that's his style, how upright he is. But like I've rarely seen a back just even in high school. Weird. That's two plates like that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the guy's hanging on him, flying in the air. He's gonna fall back a little bit. But break that. You should break that. Because our is is our hands are like. It's like NCAA a football fourteen. You got your one broken tackle in. The next guy you're gonna fall. <laughs> I mean, I mean, does he drive his legs after this guy gets there? You know, like there's just there's just parts of being this, you know, one person in here. I don't know if they were honest or not. Said 101. You know, I know there's hype with this speed and stuff. The rest just isn't there yet. Mm -hmm. Now that was something you saw with ETN, and and this is one of those things that like I'm biased about that I love to see is like That's he would be fun. tackled and you would still see his legs going at times. Like, I mean, his just his legs are always going. Mm -hmm. Like here, great stiff arm. Yeah, gets the first down. But then doesn't want it at all. Look at this. All right, lower your shoulder. Go get some. Uh, so I don't hate the Matt Breida comp. I yeah. I hate that. Yeah, Breida. Yeah. I like it, Phil. Am, am I wrong here? Should he cut this inside? I mean, first down markers right there. Yeah, but if he cuts inside, he's good first on too. He he makes an executive decision, and goes ninety degrees right. Yeah, yeah. And that's the second time he's done that. What's the situation here? Doesn't matter. I'm twenty-one nothing. It's Ohio State, of course. There. <laughs> oh, it's not yeah. Indiana. Penn State can't. They can't get. Can't get with us. They but, get lucky uh, like once every like twelve right. years. So what what round do you think he's going in? Based on based on twenty nineteen. 2020 is gonna be big for him. Yep. Yeah, I, I, he's like a fringe day two, day three guy for me right now. Like end of the third, beginning mm -hmm. of the fourth. I got third round on him. Yeah, that's where I have him. Third round. Okay. Come. Okay. And, and this thing, close. like you see my like I'm like negative. I just see him as a third round guy. Like, you know, Henderson's there. I mean, third round's the time when guys are like not. They're I, not locked not a into a job, but they got a shot. Yeah. He's not a starter. It gets he's you like, excited, though. Third compete. round, like, yeah. But the problem with him, people are hyped. They watch a highlight tape, and they don't watch that stuff. And you watch not leg drive, gets yanked mm -hmm. down, bounces outside all the time. Yeah. 2020 oh. will be a big year for him. I think he's going to get the bulk of the carries, kind of how mm -hmm. the end of the year started to play out for Penn State. Hopefully, yep. Big Ten. It seems to be trending towards that they're going to play, like Ohio State. They had uh, shells on today practicing. 
Um, mm-hmm. I think it's just it's yet to be announced. I think something's happening. Um, they're they're gonna end up playing. There's too much going on right now. Oh, Thanksgiving rumors. Or something. Yeah, too many yep. people have been talking about it. I think it might happen before Thanksgiving. Dan Patrick said August or October 10th. October 10th, yeah. That's fine. Whew, I love it. If if that's the case, they said they would still potentially be able to wrap everything up in time for uh, the playoffs. So, yeah. We'll see. So, I mean, what are you guys doing with Journey Brown if you own him in Debbie or C2C leagues? I'm, for me, personally, I'm hanging on to him. I'm not, not moving on. It depends. I mean, there's some there's some hardcore truthers for Journey Brown. Yeah, I think uh, Brandon Lejeune has him as RB one. Yeah, if it's somebody like that, yeah, I'm absolutely selling. But if it's selling at you know RB five, RB six, no, nah, I'd rather just hold and see what happens. Yep. Yeah, which is where I think he's going around. But I, but I think I think people again don't dive in. They watch highlight tapes and that sell. I think you get people that think, you know. He could be Chris Johnson like. Yeah, he so. sent him a little highlight test in that Memphis run. Here you go. Yeah. Check out this dude, yeah. dude. I just I need to sell him now. I need to win now. We got some football on this week. Tomorrow night. Woo. We got uh Central Arkansas on UAB at eight PM. South Spencer Brown, baby. South Alabama and Southern Miss at nine. Should be UAB. They forgot about their program. They shut it down. Jordan Howard transferred to Indiana. Then they started their program up again. That's UAB. <laughs> We're not even done with our damn draft yet. No, I I, I drafted Spencer Brown. Did you really? I know. Well, Just recently, a few rounds ago. Yeah, I was like, thanks. I mean, he'll stay next year. Are you kidding me? He's like only pro. Yeah, he'll, he'll, give that dude, he'll get the college production. Uh-huh. There you go. Yeah, you're not going to be able to start him this week. I know. Um, hey, don't look, don't look, I don't know if that look is at me or not. It better not be at me. All right. You're fellas. the you're the grandpa drafter over here. <laughs> um yeah, so next week it sounds like we're gonna be doing Puka Williams and Javion Hawkins from Ooh. Louisville. Scatbacks. So tune in next week, next Wednesday, 9 30 p.m. we'll be here. Um uh, it'll be interesting to see what we do during the season this D- year. Dibs his freshman year Oklahoma game for Puka. Dibs it. Dibs. The game was so fun. <laughs> yeah. I uh I don't know what game you're talking about. <laughs> you you will. Yeah. So yep, until next week. We are out of here. Thanks guys.